Meredith. Hi, I'm Laura, Boston After Dark. Hi, Laura. I'm Andrew. Boston Andrew? After Dark. Nobody puts Andrew in the corner. <laughs> and shotgun over here? Sarah. Boston Sarah. After Dark. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. Good. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to play truth or share a carpool confession game. So now here's the way that it works. I don't lead the questions, although when it's my turn, I do ask and I do play. And the way that we play it is one person asks a question and then each person has to answer that question. So for example, we're going to let Sarah go first. She'll ask a question and then we each have to give our answer to that question. Okay. Alright, so Sarah? I'm oh, asking a question. Yes. Um... Oh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Somebody else want to go first? Yeah, then? someone else is the man. I'm horrible at this. That's all right. My name is Meredith. Who is the first person? Huh? Who is the first what? President. Oh, it's not a trivia question. You got to ask them a question like, what's the craziest thing you ever did? Or who was your oh, first boyfriend? Like truth or dare. Yeah. Like, uh, yes. It's like truth or dare. I just don't have enough room in the car to dare. <laughs> what was your craziest thing you ever did? Uh, all right. That is a wonderful question. Um, Did you say, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Roaming about Hampton Beach at 3 in the morning. Oh, that's not that crazy, but okay. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? The craziest thing I've ever done. Um, I did indoor skydiving. That's pretty crazy. Alright, Andrew. Uh, I was a part of a group of about a dozen people who went skinny dipping in the ocean at the same time during a uh, wedding. I'm going to be honest, we're going to have to see the video in order for us to believe that. <laughs> it right. happened, so I, I don't, and there was no video because it was very late at night. Uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, the craziest thing I ever did is um, when I was about 12 years old, me and a couple of my friends, we grew up on the Lower East Side, and um, somebody for some reason, now the Lower East Side was a ghetto back then. I was one white boy in an all black and Puerto Rican neighborhood. And for some reason, somebody parked a limousine right on my block. So, you know, we're kids, the limousine's there, the keys were there, we took it. We didn't know how to drive, so we're sitting there driving down the FDR drive, hitting the side of the rail and everything. But that was probably the craziest thing that I did. You so, stole them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, you know. That's the most casual way to say I stole them. I stole them my <laughs> Because I've done so much in my life that, you know, it's just that seems like the most minimal thing, you know. Mm. Craziest, but, you know, it wasn't... wasn't a tremendous amount of um, no one suffered from it really except uh, the guy who actually I guess he was out on a booty call came downstairs we oh, but so we parked it we parked the limousine right across from a drug spot and um, we didn't know how to drive so we didn't like parallel park it it was basically just at an angle we figured they'd figure you know they'd find it there well we get back to our block and um, the guy comes out and he's sweating bullets Turns out he drove for someone who you really don't want to lose their limousine. Mm. Um, so he was sweating bullets. So we told him, listen, we know a guy, you know, for a hundred bucks, he'll find out who took it and get it back for you. So he gave us a hundred bucks and we pretended to make a phone call on the corner phone and came back and said, it's on 4th Street and Avenue D. <laughs> so he got his limo back and had some scratches on it. By the way, that was... 30 plus years ago, so well past the statute of limitations. <laughs> Just in case. Just covering my rear end on that. Yep. All right. So, Andrew, what would question would you like answered? <laughs> That's okay. If you want, I could drive really fast to slam the brakes on and scare the hell out of you. It didn't work, but I appreciate no? it. No? All right. Pass. You'll pass the. Okay. Sarah, what do you got? Um, what's, oh, I don't know how to word it. Um, <laughs> secret desire, I guess. Ah, okay. Well, I could pretty much tell you what Andrew's is unless he's already fulfilled it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's every guy's secret yeah. desire? Well, I'd like you to say it first. <laughs> Three, some. Tell me that's not your secret desire. He's Four not some. wrong. Huh? Four he's some. not wrong. Four, Four some. That's there you go. You know what? That's, uh, that's one level better than a threesome. Well, it also depends, though. If it's a foursome, you know, with him and a guy and two girls, and but if it's a foursome of him and three girls, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Like the Game of Thrones OG. Orgies. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. 
I have not seen a single episode this season, unfortunately. I need to like binge oh, watch no, them. You're missing out. I know yeah. I've been staying away from social media just so I don't hear anything I shouldn't hear. Well, that's an end game. You have to stay away from both. Yes. Well, no, end game I'm going to see though probably this week. All right. So, Secret Desires. I guess my secret desire, although I will make it public, is to become famous. I should have been famous a long time ago. Didn't work out because of my own not following through or doing things I needed to do. So now's my chance. How about you in the middle? What is your secret desire? My secret desire? Yes. Of course. How about you, Laura? Yes, maybe it is. No, I, I would love for my boyfriend to propose to me. Ah, uh, okay. Is he in the car now? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just checking. No. Good question. Good that question. Yeah. Nice. All right. What is his name? Uh, Matthew. Matthew. Yes. Get your shoe together and get a ring. <laughs> you know what that song says, right? If you like it, you ought to put a ring on it. <laughs> so anyway, Matthew, you're a good dude. <laughs> Just get your act together and get a ring on it. How long you guys been together? Uh, five years. Come on, Matthew, what are you waiting for, buddy? Come on, five years. All right. And since you asked the question, but you didn't say it, what is your Mine's secret? Mine's going to be super bland. Um, I've always wanted to write a cookbook. Write a cookbook? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That is absolutely I awesome. I like that. That's a good one. All right. Well, it looks like we are here. So just tell me when to stop. And what I'm going to do. Stop. Right here, okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a chance. Is there anybody you want to shout out? Say hello to, goodbye to, tell off anyone you're happy at, <laughs> pissed at. You got the calm. You can say yeah, anything to anybody you want. Besides Matthew, get your shit together. Other than that, Matthew, get your shit together. There you go. <laughs> also, shout out to Dave. Dave, straight up. Yes. Shout out right. to you. You could have been here. The Dave. Uh, there you go. We have some yeah. friends getting married in June. So shout out to Chris and Andy getting married. Shout Congratulations. Out to yeah. There you go. Make it work. All right. Well, I'm right. going to. I've got a gift, as I mentioned. And um, I gotta be honest, you guys all had great questions, great answers, but I have to give it to Shotgun. You're getting your very <laughs> own Boston After Dark liquor. Woo! Liquor, I don't even know her. <laughs> so that is actually a, um, I made it myself. It's a uh, vodka. Okay. If there's any little hairs in there, that's just for my son. I use a tub, I didn't actually clean it very well. Oh, um, but, oh, and there could be a couple of bubbles in there. That's just bubble bath. It's fine. No, in actuality, it's a Schmirinov vodka that I basically acquired from a local vendor and then put my label that's on. That's awesome. Thanks. But you know what? Next up is going to be Boston After Dark t-shirts. So make sure you guys subscribe. It's Boston After Dark. And this video was great. I have a thing called Freaky Fridays where I put my episode of Truth or Share out. And I think you guys are on this Friday's episode. You're actually <laughs> jumping ahead of a couple of other videos because one was just a bunch of dudes and one girl. So this is going to be a lot better. <laughs> so, a bunch of girls and one dude. Yeah. No, no. I'm offended. I'm offended. Andrew. You know what? A bunch of ladies and one dude is a lot better than a bunch of dudes. I don't even usually record if it's a bunch of I got a couple of videos out there because the people wanted to. But come on. You gotta have some women in there to make the conversation fun. Otherwise, you know what? If it's guys talking about a foursome, it's just That's weird. <laughs> it's just That's weird. A bunch of dudes in the car talking yeah. about a foursome? It's like, what would you like to do? Dude, I'd like to have a foursome. Oh, wait, there's four of us here. No, get the hell out of my car. <laughs> so anyway, guys, have yourself an absolutely wonderful you night. Too. Enjoy Thank yourself. You. Be careful Thank on this side because we got a guy Thank flying you. by. Thank you. Bye. Yep. Yes. And have a wonderful night. And thank you for being part of Boston After Dark. Well, thank you very much. You got it, guys.